Yo folks, welcome back to another video on this Friday, actually a short video. But some people wrote to me if I can try and replicate Newfangle Audio's Elevate inside of Bitwig Studio. And I tried to do this and I kind of succeeded in a way. And I want to give you also a free preset in the description below if you want to download this and want to try this out for yourself. I made this here in uh, Beta 5, so you need, to, of course, to use Beta 5 for this. Uh, but first, I want to show you what um, Elevate actually does. It's a combination, or it's more like a mastering plugin or a final limiter, a master limiter. Um, but it does a combination of multiple things. So you have uh, here a filter bank in the beginning. That's the first special thing. 62 or 26 bands. Um, sp very special um, spacing between the filters here. It's the mel spacing. Um, you can read this up uh, in the Wikipedia what this means. Um, so I try to use impulse responses here to kind of clone this and then this also works. It also looks very nice if you analyze here how these filter filters look like in a um, singled out. Uh, they are kind of triangular-ish at the top. Um, so they are very good for uh, band splitting. Um, then we go straight into a limiter or a, an EQ. So the EQ, it's not really an EQ, it's actually you can change the volume of each of these bandpass filters. So it's not really an EQ. Um, and also on each of these bandpass filters or channels, you have then a limiter. And then you go into a transient shaper, so you can increase the transients here or remove the transients. Uh, to get rid of some maybe some harsh clicks and pops here in the tops um, and then it goes straight into clipper and here you can um, yeah go from a hard clip to a soft clip more or less and that's kind of it um, there's probably something between the lines like some kind of algorithm i I don't know, maybe some different oversampling, maybe a bit of magic here and there, maybe some different settings. But I would say in, so from the rough idea, it's kind of exactly this. So it's a filter bank, a band splitter going into a limiter and then into a transient shaper and then into a clipper at the end. Okay, so that's what this plugin does kind of. And I try to do this like I said before here, I'm using uh, impulse responses to actually make these band splits, which kind of also makes it very CPU friendly in a way because yes, these are very short, 25 milliseconds here, and they are exactly the same. Um, I think you can even use here an EQ analyzer, Q curve analyzer, also at the end here. Uh, is it actually the right? Yeah. Face, it's just, you can see here the face is untouched, so it doesn't do anything to the face, even though we have here different splitters. Uh, we can remove here certain bands, you can see then here, we have then there a different outcome. So this is basically the EQ, right? So this is the EQ part of this uh, elevate here, where you can change the volume of different band splitters, and it gives you this EQ thing kind of response. Um, so yeah, this is the band splitting part. And then I go straight from the band splitter or from this impulse response into, into a compressor instead of a limiter. And I did this because I sometimes don't like how limiters behave. They are instantaneously, you know, are kind of aggressive ducking the signal. So here with this, you can um, pull up the ratio all the way to 100%. At 100% you have basically a limiter, but then you can also pull this down and maybe ease out the responsiveness uh, of the compressor. You can also change here the attack and the release of the compressor. So you can switch between a compressor and a limiter and dial it in to your taste. So it's a bit more, yeah, uh, more modular in a way. Um, then you have also here a threshold for uh, the compressor. So you can pull down the threshold instead of pushing it into the limiter like you do it on the newfangled audio here because here there is no th no real threshold you have here like this limiter gain and you push basically the material into the limiter you can do this here too by increasing the input volume 
But you can also go the other way around and pull down the threshold. So this is also possible. Um, then the transient shaper part I left completely out because we have here the compressor and then you can tweak kind of the attacks with the compressor attack and release. So it's just one thing instead of limiter and transient shaper I'm using here just the compressor. Um, and then I go straight into an over clipper here. And there's also here a threshold. So if you pu push this up, a threshold is basically zero dB. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. At the end, I have a time shift here to just to compensate for uh, the impulse response timing here. And I also made this pretty precise. So you can use the mix knob here and uh, invert the polarity and it cancels the original signal with the, with the red signal. So this kind of works also. So let's remove this here for a moment. And I want to show you how it sounds. So this is here some kind of track. Um, it's probably not the best example because it's already pretty compressed. Uh, but I can show you here some examples. So this is here the first band, 0 uh, Hertz to 102 Hertz. And what you can do now is here use the input, right? You can see we push here the gain up into the limiter. So the limiter goes up into the threshold. And then you have the ratio here, attack and release. You can dial this in. And this is the input threshold, attack, release, ratio, and so on. It's all the same on all these um, bandpass filters or all these layers. So it's kind of the same-ish. You can also just pull down the input here and pull down the threshold and then enable the mark up here or make up, not mark up, make up. So you increase the volume or you compensate basically for the threshold. And then you go into here this uh, overclipper then at the end, right? So we can pull down the threshold. That's maybe you actually can't see it. But what you can do then is you can push here the delta button and then pull down the threshold here. And then you can hear when delta gives you basically sounds, this means you are clipping on some of these layers. Yeah, and that's, that's basically it. Maybe I should uh, use here the end. Um, that's actually a good idea. Uh, at the end, you should choose maybe also an over at zero dB with no makeup. Just to make sure um, you don't run into the red here. Yeah, and that's called elevate Elevate Bitwig, like I said, I'll put this in the description below so you can download it, try it out for yourself, maybe give me some feedback. Um, that's my, yeah, that's my take on Elevate from Newfangled Audio. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscription. Let me know what you think. See you in the next video. Bye.